Welcome back to the Red Carpet Reup. Today, we're diving into the latest chapter in the ongoing feud between two of hip hop's biggest heavyweights, 50 Cent and Rick Ross. Recently, 50 made some pretty bold comments about Ross's estate and financial situation, which quickly sparked a fiery response from the MMG boss. In this video, we'll break down the key points of their latest back and forth and how it could impact both of their brands moving forward. Let's get into it. 50 Cent kicked things off by taking aim at Rick Ross's lifestyle during an episode of Million Dollars Worth of Game. He didn't hold back, calling out Ross for cutting his own grass, questioning why a rich rapper would do such a thing. He even suggested that Ross might be struggling financially, referencing the high maintenance costs of Ross's massive Fayetteville, Georgia mansion. 50 further mocked Ross, claiming the air conditioning in his house was broken and suggested that Ross's nightclub appearances were a sign of desperation rather than success. According to 50, Ross is holding on to his wealth by a thread and without mentioning 50's name, Ross wouldn't be getting any attention at all. Seen a Ross take a shot at you a couple uh, weeks ago about a girl that you're not even with no more. Uh, that? And then, what is it with you and Ross that's just Look been this. going on for so long? I spent it to you, right? Nothing else works for him yeah. outside of mentioning me. Yeah. When things get bad, you mention me, it gets covered for you. You see TMZ is a 50 Cent said this is going to be bad for Irv Gotti's career. Yeah. I get covered across the board. Yeah. They get covered on the hip hop blogs. Okay. It is what it is. Yeah. And you watch because I have nothing else to say. You just see it happen periodically yeah. as it goes. Yeah. You know, yeah. you see that big white elephant? Yeah. That property he lives at? It costs more than the nightclubs. He's in the nightclubs. Yeah. We know what they can give you. They can't pay you more than they can pay you because the room can't hold enough people for them to give you the money to, to stay there. You can stay until you're a squatter, holding on to the leg of the chair that they move. Mm. But that's what it is. It's just a part of presentation. Yeah. Come on, bro. You can see this. You don't need me to say that you know this. Yeah. Look at it. What kind of rich nigga cut his own grass? Why are you out there cutting your own grass? <laughs> you trying to save money, nigga? You don't want to pay for the lawn to get cut, huh? Let me ask you the this. The AC broken in the motherfucker. Let me ask you this. <laughs> Let me ask you this. Of course, Rick Ross didn't stay silent. In true Rose fashion, he clapped back hard. Ross boasted about his mansion, private jet, and his successful car and bike show, making it clear that his financial situation is far from dire. They really be wanting you to lose like he just bought the Holyfield mansion. Damn. He bought a jet. Damn. Oh no, fourth annual car show. Damn. <laughs> I just seen a clip of the Wallow show where he was interviewing 50 Cent and the other little dude asked him a question, um, small talk. But ultimately, the question that should have been asked was, you jumped out there during the beef, the West Coast versus the Canadian. And I thought Dr. Dre put you on. I thought Dr. Dre was the set. I thought you was loyal to Dr. Dre. You mean you went with the Canadian over Dr. Dre? Who, who you, you say changed your life? I ain't know, I thought loyalty, I thought. But you did shut the fuck up once the Canadian took the L. You got totally quiet. You did, so. Since these niggas count my pockets, I'ma go and let them know my next move. My next move finna be Thriller in Manila 3. Mike Tyson versus Evander Holyfield 3. Once Tyson knock out Jake Paul, I'ma get Tyson and Holyfield to fight in my front yard. I'ma put a ring right there. And it's gonna go down in my front yard. I want the judges to be Snoop Dogg, Kevin Hart, academics. You hear me? The ring gonna be right there at the promised land. Thriller in Manila, the biggest. 
They he even questioned 50's loyalty to Dr. Dre after seeing 50 Cent partying with Drake, who's currently beefing with Kendrick Lamar, a known Dre protege. Ross took it further by sarcastically offering 50 Cent the opportunity to shoot his TV productions in Ross's backyard. It wasn't just about TV, though. Ross also trolled 50 by suggesting they go into business together, even mocking 50 with the idea of putting his face on a bag of rap snacks. This isn't the first time Ross has used his business acumen to troll 50 Cent. Just last month, Ross teased the idea of collaborating with 50 on his new studio facility in Shreveport, Louisiana. Despite their long-standing beef, Ross played it cool, offering 50 a chance to pitch his ideas, emphasizing that men of business don't discuss the past. While it's hard to say whether Ross was serious, it's clear that he knows how to keep their feud entertaining while promoting his own ventures. So where does this leave things? 50 Cent and Rick Ross have been at it for years, and with these recent exchanges, it doesn't look like either of them is backing down anytime soon. For now, it's all about the who can outwit the other in this battle of both words and business moves. As always, we'll be keeping an eye on what happens next. Thanks for watching the Red Carpet Re-Up. Be sure to hit that like button and subscribe for more updates on all the latest music industry news. See you in the next video.